Hello friends, welcome back to our channel. So in today's session, we'll discuss about two more functions in Excel that is now and today. So which gives the date and time. Let us open the Excel. So here, first let me show you about the now function, right? So these are the formulas. So we have to use these formulas with the help of is equal to. So if you are not giving is equal to, automatically that will be considered as a data right so is equal to and i will give no function so we'll get the date and time the current date in time and if you go with the today function so there is a one more function that is a today so which will give the only date so which will give only a date right so if you are getting the date automatically you can have the difference between the dates with the help of this today so if i want to get the date of yesterday right if i want to get the date of yesterday so what i have to do so i can subtract one from today so i will go with uh, is equal to today minus one so which will give the yesterday's date and if i want to get tomorrow right so i need to add one to today's date so let us check so today plus one so we get tomorrow's date right and now i will give the difference between uh, two different dates right so let us check the age of a particular person so if a person who born on 01 01 1990 right so january 1st 1990 is the date of birth of particular uh, person so if you want to get the difference the age so you can simply go with this one is equal to so just use a today function today's date minus give this cell number and presenter so you'll get the date difference so in order to get in terms of days so select the cell and you, here you can see the format right the data format so change this data format into number so it is around 11 1581 days right if you want to convert into years so just uh, remove the precision and just divide this one with a 365 so that we'll get in terms of years 365 so that we'll get in terms of years so this is the years and if you want to accurately you can add the precision 31.73 years right so by using this today date we can get the difference between the dates also right so hope you understood this one and if you are having any doubts regarding this now function and today function feel free to post your doubts in the comment section definitely i will try to clarify all your doubts and if you really enjoyed my session like my session share my session with your friends and don't forget to subscribe to our channel thanks for watching thank you very much